Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with uh, Killer Sites, Killer PHP, StudioWeb.com, and other sites, as you know. I've been incognito for a while. I've been super busy with work. Uh, a lot of this work you're going to start seeing coming out on the YouTube channel and elsewhere. So, one of the things I've been doing is a little bit of design work. Now, my background prior to becoming a full-fledged nerd programmer was in graphic design. And so I had the design training in the background. Not that I'm great at it, you know, I, I get by. But uh, when you get into coding, at least for me, when I got into coding, my interest in design, graphic design, diminished as I was more into uh, system design, architecture design, programming, the design and building really nice software, rather. Eh you know as you get as you move through life you, you, your taste change you know when I was a kid I used to like playing with G.I. Joe and uh, now that I'm older I like playing with other things so in this video I want to get into the design process for people who are new to web design maybe you know if you're graphic design well I guess you're watching this channel it's going to be web design and web development you have to understand the process of design is it iterative meaning it's about trying something and then trying something else and trying something else trying something else, and building off of each iteration all right so let's first level okay let's make some changes make some changes and i think one of the uh, keys to be able, being able to put out really nice work or at least your best work is uh, is that process of uh, iteration but where you don't get caught up in trying to make every single version of a layout be perfect. You just want it to be good enough and maybe go in one direction and try another direction in terms of, of the design. And then you let it sit for a day, then you come back to it with fresh eyes and then you start playing with more variations and so on. Let me give you an idea. So recently I've been working on a uh, new layout uh, for a new site on the Swift programming language that Apple just released a week or so ago. And I've, I was going to be doing Ruby and other languages, but I decided, you know, I want to jump into Swift now because it's, it's cool, it's really interesting, and, and uh, you know, we need, on my end, we, need, uh, we needed an iOS development course anyway, so I figured, what the heck, we'll, we'll get into that. So if you were waiting for my Ruby courses, my apologies. That's been put on hold until I can get the Swift thing done. Um, yeah, well, anyway, like, I, like I've been saying in many of my other videos, whether you learn PHP, Swift, Ruby, Python, Java, JavaScript, all these languages, they all play into each other. So if you learn one, the rest will come easier. Um, yeah, so let me show you some of the iterations I've been working through for this latest project. And these are just some of them uh, that I kept here. And none of these are the final design, although one or two are very close. But I just wanted to give you an idea of uh, how I, I jump around different styles and just to show you what it is that we do. So let me just go into full screen here. Well, we do, to show you what it is I do. So here's one layout style. And then I make some changes. You can see the, the differences here. And then I said, okay, let's continue very quickly. And again, I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just experimenting with different ideas quickly to see how I like it. See, it's all themes, uh, excuse me, it's all variations on the same theme, you know? So here I got a gr gray background here. Here, well, I have it here too. What's the difference between these two? Uh, the difference between these two is the... Uh, well, that's another one. You see, no gray background, very large logo here with the bird. Now, I changed it. See, I took the bird out of the button here. Here, it's, in like, in like, it's like in an iOS icon here. And now it's outside of it. I stripped it out just to see what it would be like. Anyway, you get the idea. So you see, now I go to a different look. Again, same basic two-column, top banner, lower banner. And I'm just playing with things, you know. Here's something, you know, not too good. Uh, and again, another vari variation. So I'm not going to walk you through. Now I introduce texture here. You know, some other uh, icons down here. These are the official um, 
uh, Xcode icon and the Playground icon. Playground is a tool built into Xcode with uh, version 6 that allows you to interactively interact with the Swift language. So it's, it's kind of cool, actually. Anyway, so here we've used a, a trying with tech, another texture, you know, back to the big bird. Anyway, I won't talk about everything, but you can see now we go to a different style here. You know, we got the big image. Again, none of these are meant to be final drafts. They're just me experimenting with general ideas, right? Here now it's off centered image, this is a centered image, right? Now, you know, so you get the idea. Now, I'm, these are not different color schemes. And these are not, trust me, these are not all the iterations. And you see how many I go through. So you got to be quick, you know. You got to be quick with what you're doing so that you can start really, you know, experimenting with different ideas. There, there you go, the design process, what to take away from this video. It's many iterations, meaning many cycles. Tried, you know, you saw how I went with one style, I tried variations, I went with another style, tried variations. And that's the whole process. And you don't want to get caught up with, oh, let's make this one perfect here. Let's make the first level is sort of just want to really just establish your basic look, your basic structure for the page. And then once you've decided what that is, then you can go into, um, uh, then you can go into tweaking and fine tuning the layout that you decide to go with. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, there'll be more coming out soon.